Hi again, this is Emily at the Coloring Oasis. This is part two of my Deborah Muller coloring tutorial or color along just to kind of see what I do for her February um, contest, color palette contest, which includes um, mint, turquoise, navy, purple, and gold. And uh, if you haven't seen part one, I link that below. We're doing this in Gothic Charm School is the book I chose. So off camera at the end of the last video after that, what I ended up doing is the background off camera in the solid blue. I used an Ohuhu marker. Um, it's much darker than it looks on the barrel. So there takes care of the navy. Notice how I brought that navy into her dress. I put a little navy into the hair. In the previous video, we did the hair with some different Ohuhu markers. I do have to go over this with pencil and fix up some of the splotchy stuff, which I always do at the end. So that hair is just kind of the base. So I also took several of the colors from the hair and brought them here. So we have the mint, we have the turquoise, we have the navy, we have all the colors, same within the dots. And I started the dress with the purples, um, just so you can kind of see what, and then we're gonna continue that on with the dress here. And I have a bunch of fun new mediums we're gonna use. I have four stickles. I have a turquoise, a gold, and a purple, all requirements for this palette, and a mint, which is a liquid pearl, not a stickle, and I haven't figured out what I'm gonna do with it. Um, I might do the skeletons, I, I just haven't decided. <laughs> so we're gonna use these somehow. And um, everything you see I use in this video, I will link below. I also have three different gold pens to choose from for the crosses we're gonna do in gold. I've used this before on smell areas, it's amazing. This is the Marvi Ukita liquid gold marker paint pen. I haven't used it in a while. Hopefully it's not dried out. But I also have a three pack of Zig gold and silver assortments. So I believe it's, I've never used this. I think it's, I'm not sure, but we're going to open that and see. We're going to kind of compare. <laughs> I think it's, uh, I'm not sure. Maybe one end is one color, one's the other. And I also have backup. I have a metallic pit artist pen by Faber-Castell in gold, silver, and bronze. So we have another gold pen. So, plenty of golds to choose from. I also have some purple pencils picked out to use for her eyes. So for her eyes, we're gonna do, or I'm sorry, I, we're gonna do purple. I have four Prismacolor pencils. This is the color. I chose to use in order darkest to lightest. We have dark purple, dahlia purple, mulberry, and deco pink. And we're going to do her eyes with that and some black and gray uh, eye. Sorry, I keep saying plural. Um, and we're going to continue with the dress with the purples. The dress purple part, I used two of hoo hoos. I used a darker and a medium. And I started dark here and blended upward. And um, so I'm not, I think we're going to do this whole base, these same purples. We'll do all the colors in her stockings. Mm -hmm. Haven't figured out what I want to do with these center parts yet. Got to play that one by ear. So we're just kind of winging it. <laughs> I think the first thing I want to do, I think the first thing I want to do is her eye patch. I have this purple plum, which is my Winsor Newton Pro marker, one of my favorite sets, my Winsor Pro sets. I'm gonna do her patch. We're gonna do the heart in a gold with stickle glitter. So I just picked this. Um, the color palette does say turquoise, mint, navy, and kind of a mulberry-ish purple. It doesn't say you can't have an extra color in there. I do have a little pink in here. You just have to have, I think, the minimum of those colors with most of the picture done in that color. But So I'm, I'm trying to tie in all the colors to every area of her wardrobe, hair, body, etc. Okay. So you don't just do a stickle right on the white. You want to do the under layer of a solid color of the same color. So you want to do gold and then put the shiny stickles over it. So that's what we're going to do because you would otherwise see the white maybe a little bit through the stickles. Um, and I 
have to do the border part of her badge. We can choose, I think we'll do the navy again, the same navy we did elsewhere. Bring more of that navy into, from the outside into the girl, into her focal point. So I'm gonna do this same navy we did in the background around the base of the eye patch. You know, and I had no clue what I was gonna color what, I just knew what the color palette is and I just kind of wing it, you know, like I start with the skin, I work my way out. It's what's important is your background color should also be blended into your focal point. So that part is important. So I think we should do the navy across the top. And I'm going to put a little bit of, oh, I'm thinking of the turquoise again. Is this the right one? That is not the right pen. Here it is. I'm actually going to put a little of the turquoise that's in her hair, her dress here, right here. We're going for this just to move these colors all over the page. All right, so I think we're gonna try out one of these, um, these metallics here. First, let's go with my, well, save the liquid gold for the crosses. I wanna try out one of these zigs. I have never used these. Got them for Christmas. Let's just see. Oh, pretty, look at that. Gold and silver, gold on one end, silver on the other, that is perfect. Gold and silver, they look different, but are they the same shades of gold and silver? I'm so confused. I think they're the same. Yeah, this one's, oh, they're really pretty. I think they're all the same, but they're, you can like give one away. They look really nice. You can put this in someone's stocking or, oh, they're pretty. Look at that, almost too nice to use. I'm gonna link these below. I bought them back in December. I don't know how much they are now, but if you like them, you wanna grab it. Let's go ahead and try this out. Does it shake? I'm not sure if it's paint or what is it? Twin tip marker with gold, okay. Well, let's try this gold. It's got a round nib end. Okay, it's just not bad at all. Let's try out the silver. We're not using silver today, but let's try it. Ooh, look at that. This would have been perfect when I was doing all my Christmas pictures, all the ornaments, the silver ornaments and the gold. I don't know why I didn't open them. I bought them in, for, in just early December. I never used them. What a goomba. So we'll do this base gold, all right, on her eye, and then we're gonna go over it with the stickles. So let's do this. I'm gonna color this hard in this gold. It's a pretty round, so it's gonna be hard to get, not, not to like go over or get a, into a really small space. That's a downfall. We don't have to get all, every bit, because we're gonna go over it with stickles, but. Then we can kind of like see how this looks. Um, the liquid gold paint pen is like, looks like pure gold. You might put on like Cleopatra's jewelry, which I really want to try to do for the crosses if it's not too dried out. Mostly you want to get it. I think that's enough gold. Okay, so then, I don't know if it's, it's already dry on my, Totally dry on my papers. <laughs> I just do that by habit. All right, so I'm gonna take my gold stickles. Stickle, stickle, stickle. And we're gonna just stickle all over that. I'm gonna squeeze and then dab it in to fill in the heart. Oh, my heater's coming on. Ooh, pretty. Just gonna use my tip to kind of move it around. Fill in the space. It's a little sticky. Gotta get up over it more so I can see. 
make sure I get all the way to the end. Now this will take overnight to dry with your book open. And be careful you don't set your hand on it if you continue coloring after this because it will smear. So I'm gonna intentionally not do anything on the top of the page. Not all right, so it's all, I'm just kinda, it's all fat and billowy. It's kinda high up. It's perfect. Let's see if I can zoom in, you can see that. Can I zoom in here? How do I do that? Whoops. There it is, look at that. It's pretty good, huh? All right. We got a gold stickly heart there. No, no cats up here, no, down, down. Give me a break can't get up here every time she's incessant no okay so markers and pens and pencils everywhere we can do her eye no down down we will do her eye I'm just gonna be careful not to touch so I'm gonna do those four Prismacolor pencils I'm gonna start with this dark purple and I'm just gonna outline not, this center part will be black. I'm just gonna like lightly with my Prismacolor, kind of soft and feathery outline the part of her eye here. We're gonna do the dark ring on the outside and work inward, it's lighter. Kind of like I did with my skin. This is not the only way I do eyes. I do sometimes dark on top and I pull the lighter colors downward. I do a lot of different things, so. But can't go wrong with purple eyes. It is a purple color theme after all. All right, let's get one color a little lighter, which is uh, the Dahlia purple. I usually use markers for eyes. Sometimes I use, I use pr um, pencils more for eye makeup. But I just kind of wanted to try out this color blend here. Only having one eye kind of complicates it. Let's go to our next lightest, which is the mulberry. We're gonna just keep blending over, bring that color out a little. We're gonna go over it with that deco pink. Going over some of the darker ones I did already. Gotta be cognizant not to touch that glitter heart. It's so perfect, it would wreck my whole picture for the contest. Probably won't win, but that's fine. I just like to challenge myself anyway. I just like to teach people new things and a lot of people ask me to show what I do because they like my final results a lot. Which is funny because sometimes they look like a disaster show when they're coming together. <laughs> so here we got this deco pink. Inside part here. Trying to blend it over and get some of that tooth I feel like I need to go back to my first darker one, which was the dark purple and go over. There's a little bit of tooth still showing. I'm just gonna give this another layer. Deepen our color. Do you want these really sharp? I used my jar link sharpener and sharpened it up real good. It's an electric colored pencil sharpener. It knows right when to stop and it does take the mega pencils, by the way. The credit colors. My jar link. I've never had, um, never had a pencil that doesn't take. Um, I can link that below if you guys are looking for a good colored pencil, electric sharpener. Oh, and by the way, here's mine's right here. By the way, it is rechargeable with USB. No joke. I've only ever charged it when I first got it, and I probably at this point got it back in like September, September, October, October January. I literally only charges once in six months. I mean, I don't use it every single day, but I use it maybe twice a week. Like I only do pencils twice a week. 
yeah it is amazing the charge lasts a very long time that is truth I don't even, it's been so long, on um, all honesty, I don't even know what I did with the charger, so I'm a little worried when it does finally die. Like, what if I can't find the charger? <laughs> yeah, time to buy a new journal link. <laughs> That's funny. All right. I'm going to go back in with this pink. It looks kind of funny with that white hole there, but we're going to make that black. Blending my pink back over everything. Blending it nice and buttery. This this pale pink almost acts like a white. It kind of softens everything and brings it all together. I have two Sharpies here. A gray and a, uh, a black. <laughs> I'm going to... Do this black around kind of the outside of her iris here. I'm going to get the gray, the dark gray. There's a light gray in my big Sharpie set, but there's also a dark gray. This is the dark gray. I'm going to do so it's a little softer. It's not quite as blatant. A little gray in the middle. All right. She's a little bit of a, a little bit of a crazy, um, gothic, uh, what is that what they call hyper, hyper religious or, uh, what was the name of that? I was just reading a gothic novel, The Castle of Toronto the other day and there's a name for it. Uh, we're like worried about ghosts and goblins and monsters. So the ladies would walk around with giant crosses to try to scare off any evil. <laughs> That's kind of what she reminds me of here. <laughs> uh, all right, I'm gonna again with the black. I left that part, that black ring, a little more visible around it. And then what we're going to do is I'm gonna go over it with my pink one more time. Final little blend here, and I'm gonna get that first one, the darkest, which was the. Dark bullet one more time and go around the border edge to just kind of accentuate that. All right. Very good. Very good. I think this purple actually, I oh don't know, is that? Might be too dark. I could get, theoretically, this is a good one to go over with a pencil. That marker we did to really soften up that purple. I do like to go over markers very lightly with pencil sometimes, just to make the color more rich and vibrant. And that's why my pictures look so bright. Plus I photograph them under a blaring ring light. My Share that in Deborah's group. There we go. Now this eye patch color kind of matches her eye color. She's a little bit freaky girl. Little freaky girl. Okay. So I'm doing good. I didn't touch the heart. <laughs> I think next we're gonna test out some gold for those crosses. Let me, we know the zig was good, but I really want to go for that liquid gold. This is the Deco Color Prima Prime Marvi Ukita Rich Gold. It's a paint marker. Let's give it a good shake. Oh, don't ever shake it over your picture. I forgot. <laughs> I did that once and the lid wasn't on. Boy, was I mad when that picture got ruined. All right, shaking it good. Got a chisel, if you can see this. We're gonna, you can push it. Oh, look at that, it's just, oh, looks like jewelry gold. It does not smell pleasant, but boy, does it work. Woo! <laughs> Get my mask. <laughs> Whew. 
bummer is it might be a little hard to get these crosses without going over onto the blue with this chisel nib. We're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna do one. Not very convenient for the shape of the tip for a small area. My, th if anything looks chunky or clunky or caked, I'll just go over it with my gold stickles. Stickles has saved the day for me so many times. I cannot even tell you. You can hide a lot of errors. I can't get a full liquid. I mean, I don't want to go too heavy on the liquid. I want to go over onto the blue. So it looks a little caked. This is going to look better for a bigger area. I think that's sufficient. Yeah. Oh, now there's a spot. Uh, I can go in with my gold, the other gold pen that I did on her heart and go for any spots I miss. I think that's what I'll do. So let's get it flowing again. Let's do another one. Get this one a little more liquidy. I'm just going to try to like trace it and pull the color in. Pretty sure I'm not supposed to be literally breathing this in. My mom died from lung cancer and she was an artist. And she never smoked day in her life, so it makes you wonder if it was from the paint. <clears throat> makes me a little paranoid. Let's do this one. Her mom, my grandmother, died from lung cancer at age 65. And my mom was 65 when she got lung cancer. So the way I'm looking at it, I have 17 years to go <laughs> till I hit 65 before I'm toast. The irony is my grandmother did smoke her whole life. Growing up in the, you know, 40s, 50s. My mom never smoked a day in her life. So I don't know if that lung cancer was genetic, if there is a gene for that, or if my mom got secondary smoke from her childhood. Both her parents smoked. And that's why she ended up getting it. But I'm a little nervous. Like, if I make it one year past that, I guess I'll be happy. But that's so young. Like, I was only 30. Uh, how old was I? My mom died in 2012. 11 years ago. So, I was 37. Maybe. Very sad. One day she was fine. Next day she had a cough. And, oh, it's lung cancer, and three months later, she was gone. And I'm glad it was quick, but my grandmother, I was only, like, first grade or something when she passed, so I don't remember. I, I don't remember anything. I just know that she had lung cancer and was a smoker. Um, I don't remember her very much. All right, let's I keep activating this a little, but this is working quite well. I find it works best if I trace the cross with kind of the pointy end to create like a barrier so everything in the center doesn't flow over as I fill in the center. This would have been so pretty on all my holiday ornaments. I don't even know what kind of mask I could wear that could keep out these fumes. Sadly, it smells like a paint can, but looking pretty darn good to me. I don't love gold. I don't love this color palette, but it's all right. We are just doing what the contest said, and it's when you don't love something, it was all the more time to do it, because you're growing your skills, learning new things, expanding your repertoire, of abilities. All right. And it's thick too. It looks like like it's real like jewelry gold almost. <laughs> Gotta pull my face back. I'm afraid to go work on those ones up by the gold heart. I don't want to actually mess up my stickles. It'll definitely be wet probably until tomorrow. Stickles, because it's thick and it's got like 
glue or whatever and it definitely will be wet i've actually touched something with stickles like hour three hours later and it's still wet so keep that in mind might not get to get everything done today okay looking good i do say if you want to do like gold jewelry earrings necklaces ornaments silverware china um things like stoves and ovens where you might have like you want it to look like real gold this works way better than like a gold pencil it looks kind of textured and thick like it's liquid that's why I call it. it's like liquid actual liquid gold hannah lynn's um Whimsy Girls Around the World. There's one that's Cleopatra. And I used this for all the gold jewelry on the Cleopatra. Ugh, so pretty. I love it. I don't know if I showed you guys that. I haven't used this in months. And it's still obviously nice and... Nice and moist. Oh, I'm very impressed with myself. I do say. Um... I'm thinking we'll do that. We have to do some gold on her crosses there too. I'm just not sure if I want to use this one or a dirt one or the stickle gold. Oh dear, how do I get up here and do this without touching anything? For some activation. I'm gonna hold my hand up here and not touch the page so I don't press on any of this wet paint. Generally, I don't do these little details until the end, but I thought y'all would think this was the most interesting part. So, I'm doing this first. You guys know that I am only 20, at the time of making this video, 25 away from 1,000 subscribers. It's been seven months. My, my original goal was to reach 1,000 subscribers, like a milestone, but I remember back when my goal was to reach 100. And boy, that went by fast. Um, so if y'all can share my channel, if you have a Facebook page or a Instagram for adult coloring, people that follow your stuff or watch you, or you have any friends, if you can copy and paste a link to any of these videos and share, I'd love to reach that goal here in March. Very grateful. Whew. I've got one left. And I didn't even touch the stickle heart. Yeah, I love this pen. I'm, I am I think I need to get some kind of mask to wear, though, because the smells. I'm breathing through my mouth, but inhaling is inhaling. I don't think it matters how it's going in. not quite as bad as like a like a can of hairspray in your face aquanet remember the aquanet from the 80s 90s it's, well, at least for me that's when i used to use aquanet to do my hair all my hairsprays oh i was watching the fable mans the other night and there's a scene where the young i guess it's supposed to be steven spielberg when he's young he's sitting in a car with his date high school date and she's like Hold your breath. And she sprays the hairspray all over. The car is like this green fume. And he's like, Bleh. <laughs> opening the window trying to get air. <laughs> oh, so funny. All right. Looking pretty good. What if we try? The other thing we haven't tried to compare is this one. The Pit Artist Pen Gold. Let's check this out real quick so we can compare it to that Zig. Zig. All right, those look really good. I don't know. I'm gonna have to try this. Here's that liquid gold. Hmm. It's more dry. Definitely more dry. It almost looks more brown. Okay, let's try that Zig gold again. Right next to it. Hmm. That's interesting. That's the Zig gold, and these two are the, it's like a darker bronze gold. So I'm definitely gonna stick with the Zig for a gold gold. So I think we shall 
Um, I have used the silver in these um, Faber-Castell and it works great and the bronze, in fact. Um, we are going to do the crosses with this because it's smaller and I can hopefully, No, I'm afraid it's going to go over. It's kind of bulbous, you know. Let's try. Very careful. You have to have some very controlled hand movements here. This one doesn't smell like a batch of roses either, just so you know. <clears throat> Go back in for number two. Definitely like these zigs, silver and gold. Much easier to control than the liquidy gold, the Marvi Okita. Oh, oh, bloody bum. See, I just put my finger on it. Thank goodness it's drying. It didn't smudge too much. Oh, it's really rough. All right. Those are gold. I don't know if that's enough gold to constitute the gold requirements for the picture. I think it is. Ugh, I'm not sure what else we could do gold on here. Mm -hmm. Anyway, I have some white. We need to do a few dots on her eyes. Let's get this post get activated here. Just using this. You can use a gel pen too, but my gels have been obedient lately. Is this not even coming out enough? Come on, moron. Ugh, my pen's a moron. I'm going to do some white there. Bigger white there. Little white details there. Some of the reflections in her eyes. That's good. Okay. Oh, I need that back because I got some purple on the white part of her eye. I'm going to go over this right here. See that? If you get any color on the white, just go over it with your pen very, very carefully. Very, very carefully. Need to control your hand. All right. Oh, and I like to put a little white in her mouth. Kind of for more teeth there. And I need my black Sharpie back. I'm going to put a little more black where her little nose holes are. Make them big enough to kind of see there. It's kind of I'm gonna do eye makeup on her, but I'm not quite there yet. So that will have to be last. Whew, so many details, huh? All right, next, I think we need to work on the base of her dress. So I'm gonna take that first dark purple I had here, this hoo hoo. And you see all the little dots? Some of my paint pens shaking them. I made the boo-boos and they, they drizzled, but that's okay because we are going to use a dark purple. And the lighter purple, and we are going to color her dress. Actually, going to do. I think I'm just going to put the darker color in these kind of folds. Maybe over here. Too fantastical. And then I'll put some down here. And I'm just gonna do one section at a time and then let's get our lighter one. No, do not jump up here. She wants to be with me every second. This is the lighter purple. I'm gonna just kind of go into the open areas then and go over the darker one. 
I do use my big old chisel nib for large surface areas like this. Downside is you run out of ink halfway through your your you know your target. Your you've got to find a similar color or um, revise your plan or get some pencils to fix it. Well, whose are the best? They blend so well on Amazon paper. As you can see, this is Amazon paper. I think my Ohuhu's, I have every Ohuhu imaginable. I think they're, I use them way more than my Copics, except for skin tone, which I only use Copics. But overall, yeah, my Ohuhu's are, are my coloring medium of choice. Going back over with this dark one in this fold area again, just so you can kind of see it. A little darker there. Kind of gives more the illusion of some shadows or the dress is folded over there. There. See how easy that was? Okay, let's proceed to this, these next couple sections here. So. I'm not going to do the inside part. I do that something lighter, but let's just do that dark one here. Some of these folds again. You can also do it like just on the inside of where there's like a line. Something like that. You can do it, make your own. I'm going to put a little bit of it down in this pocket. And kind of cover back up. Okay, let's get our purple. Just go on and over, blend everything here. Stay down, do not come up here. No, no room. Yeah, I, last time I did stickles and paint, she walked on it and it messed it up. And this is like my contest picture. So normally I would not say no to her, but confusing for her because she always likes to be up here with me when I'm doing anything. But then when I say no, she's just literally, no joke, she's been staring at me for like 30 minutes at my left elbow on a chair at my side. She keeps putting her little pop on the table like she's, and I say no, and she pulls it back. She just giving me the I'm so pathetic 16 year old cat. I'm old. You should let me do whatever you want, whatever I want eyes, which normally would work, but I putting a lot of extra effort into this picture. I want it to be successful, not have it get messed up by Miss Honory here. My sweet Bella, my calico. I'm so concerned about her. She's down to four pounds from seven about a year and a half ago. I don't know if it's her age and she's not, she doesn't eat much. She's low appetite. She, I don't know how much time she has left, poor thing. And you can feel all her ribs and everything. We've got her on this last year appetite stimulant, steroids, nausea meds. It's just comes and goes when she'll eat. It's just getting worse. I just, I'm dreading it. Had her since she was a tiny little baby. It's hard to spend 16 years with an animal as your companion. Just double length of most dogs alive and then to lose them. I'm like, I don't even know. I have two other cats, but they're not um, attached to me like she is. They're not nearly as like close to me. So I am dreading it. I'm going to take this darker one and do this inside bottom part of her dress here. The all in the darker because you want contrast otherwise you don't know where the folds are I hope this hasn't been too boring for you guys at least it lets you see kind of what I do and you can follow along if you like use you can use similar shades or in any alcohol markers you have or at least use my techniques you don't have to do um everything else the same if you do not wish. I'll probably have to do a third video on this when all the paint dries. 
So we're doing the inside part it's dark. I'm gonna just do it right here. And you'll have to watch the third video to see the final result. And in that video, I'll probably do the bows, the makeup. Um, do I even need a third video? Probably, unless I don't do the rest, any of the rest of it on camera. I guess I don't have to. You can see what I'm doing with the dress. Like, ideally, I'm going to repeat this on this side. So I don't really need to do that part on camera. Um, so I'll just assume this purple will be also be over here. Then we're left with these parts. And what you want to do, take her leggings and everything you see everywhere, I like to alternate the colors through the leggings. So that means we want to use the mint, the teal, the blue, the purples. Um, we don't want to do the dark purple because we have that here. So what I am going to do is I'm going to do the navy first, which we have in the background and up here. But I don't want to do the navy down here over the navy of the background. We want to do the navy up here so there's purple uh, behind it. Because you want to always think of contrast. So two of the same color and like an item that like lays on top of another item like a background. They're all they're not the same color so they stand out so we're doing navy we're gonna give her some funky kind of goth leggings striped leggings might i add and i think i'm gonna go in with stickles and do, and do all kinds of funky little details if i do do a last video um, let me get the turquoise. I feel as if we want to do the the mint, maybe. Let's do the mint next to the darker color, so we have a lighter color in between. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'm completely leaning it, as I'm doing now. There's like not a lot of pre-strategy in this picture. That's what I like about it. Alright, then we can try we'll save the purple for down here because it's on the blue background. So I'll take this Windsor Newton purple, which is a little different purple than the dress, and do that here. That way it kind of stands out as a different purple than what's in her dress. Okay. And don't want to do any purple up here because of that. We need to do some turquoise because we have turquoise here. We don't have enough turquoise, so we're going to do... I'm going to do turquoise down here. I'm going to do one pink stripe, which is the little extra color I added where you see in these dots here. Just one pink stripe. Not very much pink because it wasn't really included in the color palette. Just to like accent everything. This is my New Mexico turquoise. Okay. And then lastly, the pink I was using was a pink Windsor Newton Cerise. Let's just get that in here. Just for a little pop of color. Okay. Another little pop of color here. This picture is due tomorrow to be submitted, so I'm a little behind, so I'm gonna be staying up late to finish this. I don't know if I'll be able to get the rest on video if my camera's gonna not die or not. Oh, I have one more piece of legging up here. We could potentially do... Hmm, that is a tough one because I don't want to do purple over it. I don't want to do 
I should do pink again. I'm gonna go for it and do the pink again. Why not? Hopefully this extra addition, sneaking in this extra color into the palette won't disqualify me. But maybe you get some inspiration watching this. Something you can try on your own. I do see a little more, another legging right here. I want to get this, the turquoise. Okay. And right up there too, peeking through. There are her leggings. So it kind of coordinates with the colors of the dots and her hair and her eyes and everything. I'm considering doing gold to border her dress. What do you think? Because I need more gold in here. <sighs> Should we just go for it? Or like, I'm not sure. Alexa, cancel. I have to go take my moment. Let's just do it. I'm going with my Zig Gold. We are putting gold in her dress. Again, you're supposed to really bring your background colors into your focal point, so just a little bit. We can even stickle it if we like. There's so many pictures that I've stickled the heck out of just to save it or just because I just love it so much. I'll call it my stickle pick. My stickle pick. I think that's, you know, sufficient. I think I might stickle this. Give some bling bling to her dress. Like I had no pre-aspirations to do gold in her dress. I literally just thought of that and went for it. And I tend to follow my intuition and instinct when it comes to putting colors where and color blending. And usually if you see my stuff I color each month and my what I colored videos, they usually look pretty good. I don't feel like I've done anything that has, has had bad color combos. I, I mean, maybe y'all think different, but. I'm just probably talking to myself right now. Okay. I'm probably so boring to y'all. All right, so then what I'm going to do is I will be repeating this purple over here off camera, putting the gold over here off camera. The inside fold of her dress, I, I want to do with one of these lighter pencils um, that I put in her eyes. Not If you do the same dark as the outside, it will look... Like you want it to look like it's the underside. So I do the same color, but a little lighter shade. Um, I'm going to now figure out what to put here. I think we need to amp up our turquoise because we haven't used a lot of turquoise. And we do have turquoise ruff ruffles. So I'm gonna go turquoise. I hope the group likes my picture. I've seen some submissions so far in the folder that are very, very brand newbie. So, but you know, we were all there at one point, weren't we? It's almost unfair. I think there should be like a contest for beginners, a contest for intermediate or a contest for advanced. So it's more equal to the beginners. All right. Got that turquoise in there. I like to take my dark purple and do in these little open folds right here. There we go. I'm going to, oh, the, you know, the last thing I'm gonna have to figure out are the bows. I think we need to do the purple. 
going to do this here and this here, maybe. Um, I'll do one more and then I'll finish the rest off ca camera, but I'm going to show you. Oh, so this is the one that's splashing. Ah, I just opened it. Look, it got a blot on my gold. It's leaking bloody. Oh, bloody hell. Why me? Note to self, don't put the lid back on until you're done. All right, open it over a test page. I'll do the bows next, so you guys, and I'm gonna use my liquid pearls and uh, green on the skeletons. I'm thinking of making them a liquid pearl green. Do you guys wanna see what that looks like? I don't even think I need a third video. I think we're just gonna, I'm just gonna make this be the last video. Um, don't put that lid all the way on, gotta remember. I'm gonna do this in here. I think we're going to do purple bow. Oh man, that green left little dots all over. I could just intentionally put dots all over and make them polka dots. That's something I've had to do before from this issue. I'm going to do the darker purple, the inside of her bow. Okay, on both sides. My hand's wiggling, but I'm trying not to rest my arm on the table, on the page, because of the wet paint. I'm also going to do a little this dark in this little loop here. Again, make a little texture. Trying not to touch any of that gold paint. Okay, I'm going to take my other medium purple and I'm going to just go over this here. I'm not going to go all the way out because I have one more purple I want to use. I'm going to go around the skeleton. I'm going to use then my, oh my God, look how much ink is on my hands. I'm going to use my Windsor Newton purple I was using before to kind of blend with those ohuhus out to the edges. That's so a little lighter. And they're all, both alcohol markers, so they blend well enough. It feels different, though, than the way I just did. It's more moist and flowy and juicy. I'll blend that over everything. And if you never like how something looks, just go back over it with the darkest one in the end. All right. Uh, I'll do the same on the other side off camera. But what I want to do is this. Oh, I really want to use this mint liquid pearls. I think I want to use this on the one on her neck. I'm going to do a mint pearl skeleton. Don't ask me why. It seems dumb. But here I go. Liquid mint pearl skeleton. I'm gonna try to leave the eyes open. Put something in there later. Also, this is raised. It's textured. Might look a little funny. I have never done this before. I gotta get closer. I can't see what I'm doing. I'm gonna get it all the way up to just the eyes. That's nice. I was going by with a motorcycle. So, hopefully I'm not in the way. Um, the question is, the eyes are white. I'm gonna try to blop. I have to wait till this dries tomorrow. I think I'm gonna blop into the eye sockets. I think I'm gonna blop in some black stickle so it's sparkly black. I think that's what I'll do there. So 
The only thing is I don't know if I want to do the green one here because her hair is green. There's not enough contrast. So I might want to do this turquoise stickle on that skeleton. But if that is the case, we want to do an underlayer. So let me get a marker and I'm going to color these skeletons with this turquoise and then go over it with stickle. I just saw a boo boo. Oh, bloody hell. Oh, I dropped it with the lid off. Why? I'm such a glasso. Do I see? Yes, I do. I need my green. Mm, need to just fix this right there. Little spot. There we go. All right. Okay, so let's see. It's not showing a lot, but we're going to. This is a very bold stickle. I'm going to stickle it over the whole skeleton face. These are almost like skeleton hair clips. Sparkle bling skeleton hair clips, right? I'm gonna do some here, here, here. Do not jump up here right, right now, particularly. Okay, just hair raising me. Stalking me. Now she's circling me and my on the floor trying to figure out how to jump up from another angle. Oh, I gotta get up closer. I do need to do pencil on her hair to fix it because so my marker didn't look as great on my base layers I would have liked. There we go. We have a Nice stickle hair clip, matches her hair. I don't know if you can see that very well. Let's see if I can zoom in for you. Zoom, Woo. there that is. And there's that one I did, which is looks a little like puffy, but it has to dry with what looks appropriate. Woo, so many details, huh? So, what I'm going to end up doing off camera to finish this picture, I'll just tell you, and you'll see the final picture in the thumbnail of the video. I am going to finish this part of the purple on the side of her dress, that gold over here. I am going to do the purple again and bow and the skeleton stickle here. Going to I'm really thinking of doing this purple stickle. Actually, let's just go for this now. Right here on her necktie. Remember, you don't want to go over white because it won't show as well. Or, you, I mean, the white will show too well. That's what I mean. Okay, this purple. I'm going to stickle this. Told you I'm a stickle freak. Stickling it, and I use the tip. I gotta get closer to bring it right to the edge of the line. Keep it kind of dry. Um, Rectangular. There we go. Actually, let me just show you what I do with those black eye holes. I'm gonna get my black stickle here. My black, here are my black diamond, black diamond stickles. I'm going to drop a black stickle dot into these eye holes. One. Two. Woo! Up here. One. Two. Now you don't see that as well, but I'm gonna wait till that dries. And tomorrow I'm gonna do like a, a white stickle diamond dot on the top. In fact, 
I could try to do it now while it's wet. I don't know. Oh, actually, where's my gold stickle? Let's do that. Um, we're going to gold stickle a dot on top of the eyes, the black diamond part. One dot. I just don't want to smear it. I should wait till it's dry. Oh, that part's stuck. Try this again. One. Two. There, it almost looks... I don't know if you can see that. That looks cool. Okay. Let's see. You see that I did? See, oh, I can see the one on the right. I gotta fix one on the left, but you see the gold on top of the black? All about the details, people. Okay, I'm gonna fix that, do the same over there, finish this up. I'm gonna do, actually, let's just do this on camera. I can think I'm gonna be done, but probably nobody's watching, but I'm going to do gold buttons. Another way we can have more gold here, and then I'm gonna do a gold stickle sparkles. Okay, let's stickle these. Stickle the buttons. I want to make sure we have plenty of gold because gold was the required main color of the picture had to have gold in it Ooh, look at that i love my deets my deets my details how does that look from up high how does it can you see it zoomed in see that our buttons okay well i don't figure out what to do here but i'll figure it out off camera and see what other creativities I come up with. I had another idea with these gold crosses was to put a little dot on all four corners of like black or something um, of a black stickle or a black marker. Hey, what would that look like? Once it is done, it can't be undone. Is it dry? Let's touch one. It is 100% dry. That's fast drying. Let's ugh, let's do one down here. Oh, doesn't like to go over paint. Okay, well, marker does not go over paint. I thought it was a good idea though. What if I use, thinking, 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 the purple? No. What do I want to do with those crosses? I gotta do something. My black stickle. I was thinking of doing like the four points. Maybe I'll just do it on two, two of them. One, two, three, four. Oh, look at that. And let's see how that looks. Can you even see it? Just to make it like more interesting. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have fun with this and finish it up. I hope you enjoyed watching my two part sort of tutorial color with me stuff. <laughs> hope you learned something, enjoy it. I will link all these products I'm using from my uh, product bins below so you can try them out yourself if you like and keep broadening your skills. Thank you so much for everything. I'll see you in another video.